Yes, yes, good morning, good morning, a very good morning African world traveller here It's about 8 30 in Blackpool African world traveller here Trying to show you how things look like here in Blackpool today So it's actually freezing, it's quite icy so the road is really icy today it's not the best weather today yesterday was all right it was a nice weather i came out here creating some contents for you guys but guess what i was got it around half 12 it was absolutely lovely out here it wasn't cold it wasn't warm so it was in between my sd card I filmed like uh, an hour have an hour 30 minutes length of a great content right on the beach right on the sea damn guess what my SD card let us down you know I thought I got a deal from uh, Black Friday on Amazon I paid about 24 quid for like 900 and something you know gigabyte so that is like five times than the one i'm using here now just to be able to have more storage capacity but damn with all that content with all that effort i made creating i went all the way underneath that not pier i went underneath so it was low tight but it's coming out like un unavailable you know unavailable fine uh, file so basically i lost all that amazing contents but guess what there's still good thing ahead i believe they still i'm a positive guy i got a positive energy on me <clears throat> even though i was let down with that content because I met the amazing lady, amazing subscriber as well. So you recognize me, even though I got my hoodie, I was like this. Yeah, I was all wrapped up like this. I don't know how she recognized me, you know. She said, oh, African, African, African something. I said, how do you know? <laughs> yeah, I do watch you, I do follow you. I watch all your videos. So I was so excited. So then I was sat next to her. I was like talking to her, chatting to her. Like, you know, I love chatting with people. You know and then god and i met a few lovely people as well but then i mean it's coming up all that was it might be a test of fate you know Te it's testing me you know there's something i'm a believer there's something testing me testing the fate how f how faithful am i or how much a believer am i you know but it's all good it's all good everything in life i think it just comes to test you and see how positive how positive you are and how strong is your energy how strong is your vibe you know so nothing gonna let us down like i said you know nothing gonna let us down so we got a positive energy positive vibes we're gonna keep rolling we're gonna keep going the future is more brighter that's what i see you know the future is brighter so for that uh, an hour and a half content that's all right there's a more thing to come i think we went underneath here we went right down here and then we had the opportunity to go under like to go by the uh, we went down to the because it's a low tide we went down the stairs and we went on the beach and there was some lovely there's a lovely dog we met a dog walker you know i don't know if he's going to be watching us called shadow she's walking a dog called shadow the dog was like running around coming toward us running down there so excited you know the, came, the dog came and say hi to us so we got all that but then at the end whew, we lost it it's all right it's more to come it's more to come so like just keep on keep on watching keep on supporting the channel you won't be surprised you won't let it down will not let it down guys i just finished a night shift you know so I'm back again here, trying to great to bring some content to you. You know, I could supposed to be going to sleep, going to bed. You know, 
but I choose to come out here and create some content you know so here we are it's not a bad day again today it's a bit cold it's cold you know don't get me wrong it's quite icy so you got to be careful out there be very very careful you know when you're out here be very careful see it there look at it it's icy so like, like I was saying about this the kind of dog shit you know but yeah it's all right it's all right it's a lovely sky out there look at it it's a lovely sky as you can see up there it looks like there's a plane or like a small planes they're enjoying it look about one two three they're all flying up the sky man as you can see up there yeah see that one there it's breaking the sky into pieces man that's going like god knows how many miles an hour going so fast look at it I'm not sure if you can see very clearly out the sky there look at it it's breaking the sky man all right so let's carry on look it's nice though look at the sea very calm very very calm look at the sky lovely sky it's a lovely 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 sky you know so if you are a photographer if you're out here you will have a good capture you know a good 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 picture you'll capture a very very nice image in here you know you come around like half six half half six seven o'clock you have a beautiful sky look at that you can't beat this sky man it's lovely it's a lovely lovely sky nice and calm and peaceful no waves or whatsoever so the sea is really really calm you know i'm thinking about getting a rod you know coming over here fishing like in a high tide you know, i'm walking a lot actually you know but when i'm off you know in the evening I just come out here and come like cast and see what i'm gonna catch we're lucky to catch some fish you never know you never know we'll try our luck in it never know might smoke some fish grill some fish <laughs> imagine man if i reel a nice sea bass yeah i don't know if you can catch cod here though i don't know i'm not sure anybody watching that is a fisherman that want to take us out for a you know fishing one evening you know like a freezing night out like you know go right the guy by the gin i believe they go fishing by the gin there the gin they call it the gin you know i have some fishermen saying about talking about that area it's a good good place to catch good catch they have a good catch over there so this is lovely though it is nice it's quiet like i said earlier in this I was over this side yesterday, I was walking on the on the sun, you know, just right down there. I was walking down there yesterday, but I was so excited, I was like saying, damn, I'm gonna get some views in this, I'm gonna kind of like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow up, it's gonna blow up. <laughs> I was so excited, I was looking forward for this, you know. <laughs> well guess what we're we're good there's more to come man more to come tune tune in you'll see there's more to come on man. there's more to come so we're gonna blow the we're gonna smoke this area man don't worry about that <laughs> we're gonna smoke it up smoke it up it's gonna go viral let's keep going let's keep the positive energy going let's keep spreading that positive energy you know the one love the one heart you know Born them negative, <laughs> negative two-faced guys, you know. So we're good. We want the loyal and uh, straightforward one-faced person, not like a two-faced. You bite and blow. Yeah, you can't get me, you know. You can't get me into that internet emo emotional damage thing, you know. Nah, 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 nah. We are good. We know what we're doing. You know, nothing can stop us. Nothing can stop us. Hear that song? Nothing can stop us. We're gonna go high. We're gonna go far. We're gonna go extra mile. Let's go. So this is it, guys. It's a bit of a fun, bit of an entertainment, you know. But it's all good. Let's move on. Let's get into the serious business part. So this is it. It's a lovely, amazing day. It's out there after a nice shift. I'm still out here. I'm still energized. Look at me. Do I feel tired? Do I feel rough? Yeah, in fact, I think I'm gonna go to the gym, you know? Yeah, I think I'm gonna carry and go to the gym at once. Yeah, get my body sweat out, get down toxic, 
sweat out of my body yeah and then have a nice shower then come and lie on my bed yeah and then wake up again and do the same go and hustle again go and hustle again you know what i mean so that trip have to be funded for next year we're gonna be traveling so i'm not gonna go out there asking for donation or for help or anything you know so we grasp we work we pay for our flights we go everywhere so we not go like a handout charity you know if you want to give out in a good heart donate yeah if you want to sponsor do so but we're not gonna go out there spreading our hands give us some extra change no man we don't do that we're gonna go and hustle man yeah and pay tax as well yeah <laughs> those who are saying as an immigrant get when you're going back to rwanda i'm gonna go with you in rwanda right <laughs> you're gonna join the boat as well <laughs> so it's all good guys <laughs> it's all good so this is it i think in each country you go there is immigration immigration also is plays a part because if you look at it yeah everyone's saying immigrant immigration yeah ask your home office how much they charge like how much people how much people pay for their paperwork and stuff a year like them nurses they recruit from the foreign they all have to pay every you know the visa run out do you know how much they're gonna pay they pay fortune you know and they all pay like insurance health insurance and all that so what do you think you think it's all free you think immigrants are getting everything free no it doesn't work like that immigrants are paying a lot they put in a lot of uh in the, in the in the government as well you know they're paying a lot so if you're talking about immigration if you don't know about immigration don't talk about immigration right every developed country you go is about immigration immigrants are contributing toward it too it's good immigrant and a bad immigrant yeah so if you get the good one be grateful but if you get the bad ones i don't support the bad one though if the if an immigrant is a criminal or doing a bad thing lock them up send them back i don't care but if they're here contributing yeah let them let them be respect them but no he's an immigrant is it now you're saying he's a hotel for the immigrant immigrants you know here we go here we are yeah you're gonna say that's a hotel now immigrants five star and all that so on the other day i saw the guy posting you know don't don't get me wrong not all of them are bad like the other people that go in flashing up in a five-star hotel whilst others are struggling you know it's not fair i saw this guy yeah he was splashing the money counting the money even though he was an asylum seeker he's not allowed to work but he's earning like 1500 1500 pounds a month and he's still getting paid and his benefits and all that and he's get like a free not even a housing he's like in a hotel in a five-star hotel can you believe it i've been here how many years more than 20 years i never been housed in a hotel i have to get my ass out there and work work craft craft yeah i did everything i supposed to do yeah i even though i didn't come here illegally i came here legally you get me so and i've been here almost half of my half of my year my age i've been here quite a long time more than two decades i've been here working paying tax so what are you gonna call me an immigrant an immigrant that's been putting out in the tax paying into the government yeah and serving the country as well saving lives with all covid period yeah i was going to work and never been off until when i was sick when i was ill of covid that's the only time i've been off sick yeah in the whole period of our covid time over how many years i've been going out there working saving lives so what are you gonna say to me i'm a bad immigrant or i'm a bird person or i'm not supposed to be here if that's the case you the person coming attacking me telling me when am i going to rwanda yeah you're gonna go with me as well because i'm doing far better than you i'm doing far better than you and i'm contributing far better than you in this country so what right do you have more than i do right this is it anyway i'm not gonna spend all my energy for the negative small-minded people yeah i'm gonna save that 
but if you want me to lecture you come over I'll lecture you I know more than you do in this country I could educate you you know teach you a lot about your own country and you know not even my country where I was born from I can teach you educate you in your own country where you were born and raised yeah oh he's gonna let us look at that look at that nice guy man <laughs> There. Quite nice people here, you know. So, before talking about immig immigrants or immigration, know about it. Know what you're talking about. Then you could come back and talk, and people could listen to you. So this is it, guys. This is where Northern Soul, you know, Soul Street, you know. That's where you want if you want to come and play, dance some, you know, soul music or more tang. Come down there, and that's walk about. That's walkabout here, you know, walkabout. And then you got pop wall down there, and you got the strip club and all that, sinless. And you got crazy, crazy horse here. And you got bar 19 over that side as well. Sometimes that used to be a strip club as well, up here. But you know, I heard the council are trying to they stop issuing licenses for strippers, you know. It's about 19. See it there. It's a lot. It goes on late again as well. It goes on late. My hands are freezing, man. Whew. Damn. And that is a slug, slug and lettuce. Slug and lettuce. Yeah. So bless this homeless guy. He's always he or she. He's uh, he's always here. Been last few weeks when I came, he was here. He's still there. Bless him in this cold weather, man. But he's got a sleeping bag. He's got a sleeping bag, and I believe he's got a warm duvet. He's warmer than me, I believe. My hands, I can't feel my bloody fingers now. I can't feel my fingers. I need to put my fingers in the pocket. It's damn freezing, man. Whew. And that's the central library. That is the library here. It's an old building, you know. That's the central library. And that used to be the job center. That used to be the old job center here. Yeah? So that can tell you how long I've been in this town, you know. So I know a lot. I know a lot in this town. That used to be the job center. And that's the Galleon Bar. I did work there as well, quite it used to be, not now, it used to be very rough. It used to be rough every time it's kicking off and all that. But now it's calmed down now, you know, it's not that rough now anymore. It's not that bad. And that's the station pop. Yeah. And straight ahead of us there is the winter garden. That's the winter garden. So now we're gonna go left here. As I said, I want to go to the gym now, you know. I'm going to carry on, I'm going to go to the gym. There's somebody I knew there, I could see the person over there, I knew that. I knew her. Wait a minute, see if she's going to recognize me. She will if she sees me. I'm not the most famous person, but quite a few people knows me from here. I know a few people as well. I think the one I thought it is, for sure. I need to get my eye tested. <laughs> it's not the one I thought it was. People look alike. Especially in the distance. Yeah, I thought I uh, someone I knew, but no, it wasn't. It don't look alike. But nah, I got that wrong. <laughs> so this is it. So let's go back, let's go to the gym. What time is it now? Oh, we've been filming for like nearly 20 minutes. 20 minutes. The shop for let. Yeah, if you're looking for a shop, the shop for let here. People going out of businesses, man. It's not much, people are not making much nowadays. All these shops are closing down, man. All them shops are closing down. Traffic is quite 
quite busy. There's a lot of business are closing down. That's Sapphire as well. Sapphire is not. It's not on business either. So it is. And the council are just building like car parks. They're saying they're trying to revive these the towns, or we shall see. There's a lot of structures they're building a a lot of things, but let's see though. So probably will create some employment. Whether it's gonna be enough for everybody, not sure. I believe it's more on un unemployment than employment in Blackpool. I believe so. But Hopefully the council will tackle that and uh, give the locals more opportunity. This will offer some more training actually, you know, get them like training. But not like making it really hard for people to be able to get into, you know, be trained for like skill work and all that. So guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm right in my gym now, so I'm just gonna get myself ready in and then do some workout, you know, get some sweat, sweat a bit. So this is it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy the day. Have a good day. Have a lovely day. I keep warm.